Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. Students, today we are going to do financial awareness MCQs from 1st of June 2024 till 17th of June 2024. My name is Ramandeep Singh and uh, let's start the session. Before starting, let me tell you IBPS RRB Scale 2 Scale 3 course for 2024 is already available on bankexamstudy.com in which we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, test series, live sessions and interview preparation guidance. Link is available in the description. Please check. Let me just hide my face so that you can concentrate on the content. So which Indian company was recognized in the time 100 most influential companies 2024 for its venture in energy, retail and telecommunications. So which company I'm talking about? It is Reliance Industries. So time 100 most influential companies that is Reliance Industries. And what is the name of fintech firm that launched secured lending platform on 30th of May 2024. Now secured lending is available on uh, on this app. It is we are talking about phone pay. Now phone pay is into lending as well. They're not making money out of UPI, but now they are into lending. Okay. Uh, obviously, they are taking help of uh, they are doing collaboration with banks and NBFCs. What is the purpose of settlement calculator launched by SEBI? So SEBI launched a settlement calculator. What is the purpose to guide users to arrive at an indicative settlement amount? Okay. So when you withdraw your money from your DMAT account, okay. So this settlement calculator will help you understand how much you, uh, money you're going to get after how many days. Okay. So this is a se uh, settlement calculator by SEBI. Which country was the largest source of FDI into India in the fiscal year 23-24? So Singapore. Singapore was the largest source of FDI for India in the previous year. Okay. Very important question in the last one. Uh, what are the two variants of co-branded credit cards? So Adani Group and ICICI, they launched co-branded credit cards. This point is itself very important. The name of the credit card is not that important. So Adani one ICICI bank signature credit card and the second one is Adani one ICICI bank platinum credit card. But Adani and the ICICI bank, they signed an MOU. Please remember that. What is the main purpose of Sarthi 2.0 app to help investors manage their personal finances? That is the purpose of Sarthi app. Okay. In the fiscal year 23-24, which country emerged as uh, India's largest export destination? We are talking about Netherlands. Netherlands was the third largest export destination of India. After United States and UAE. After United States and UAE, it's Netherlands where we export our products. So on June 3rd, 2024, Gati Shakti Vishwa Vidalia signed MOU with which of the following companies with Nokia, Plaza India and Jacobs. And what is the main aim of MOU signed between National Punjab National Bank and IIFCL India Infrastructure Finance Company Limited? First of all, you need to remember the MOU that the MOU was signed between PNB and IFCL. So that is itself important. What is the purpose to offer long term financial assistance to the viable infrastructure projects? Who launched Ek Paid Mahke Naam? Prime Minister, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched this uh, campaign, Ek Paid Naam Maake Naam. So what was the rank of IIT Bombay in QS World uh, University ranking 2025? So it's 118. It used to be 149. So the rankings improved a lot. Which country is the first South American, uh, first in South America to adopt UPI technology? Many countries are adopting UPI technologies nowadays, right? Uh, it's Peru. Peru adopted the UPI technology. It's the first South American country to adopt UPI technology. What is the purpose of onboarding banks as per service centers to assist pensioners with various services like updating their profile, grievance registration and digital identification. What is the primary goal of SEBI's new framework for market infrastructure institution? What are market infrastructure institution? The stock, the stock exchanges, 
द क्लियरिंग कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया दे आर ऑल मार्केट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड द फ्रेमवर्क गोल इज टू इम्प्रूव इंटेग्रिटी एंड सेफ्टी ऑफ स्टॉक मार्केट इन इंडिया and which framework facilitates direct currency settlement between india and uae it is not upi it is local currency settlement framework please remember that local currency settlement framework so that they can directly transfer money right no middle uh, middleman kind of uh, currency is required okay so that will lower the transaction cost no intermediary currency is required for the transactions who was awarded the title of best conduct of business regulator in asia pacific region by the asian banker on 7th of june 2024 that is sebi and according to the new guidelines within how many days should kras should upload a, a verified or validated kyc information on the ckyc rr after registering uh, receiving it from the intermediaries within 7 days they need to upload it K, uh, kyc registration agencies means kra which position did visakhapatnam container terminal private limited secure in the 2023 container port performance index 18th rank they, uh, they secured vctpl they secured 18th rank and what was the repo rate so recently in the mpc meetings nothing has been changed uh, for the i guess eighth consecutive meeting it's still 6.5% repo rate is six, uh, still 6.5% for the eighth consecutive time which new members now this question is very very important uh, which new member were uh, members were included in the brics after 2023 expansion Uh, Egypt, Iran, UAE, Saudi Arabia, and Ethiopia. These are the five new members. So already Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. They are the members. New members are Egypt, Iran, UAE, Saudi Arabia, and Ethiopia. What is India's rank in Global Gender Gap Index 2024? That is 129. 129 is the rank of India. and when has the pm awas yojana scheme till uh, has been extended so it has been extended till 31st of december 2024 pm awas yojana has been extended till 31st of december 2024 uh, for all verticals except credit linked subsidy scheme for clss which has been uh, which aims to complete houses sanctioned up to 31st of march 2022 so credit linked subsidy scheme it has been uh, Uh, we uh, the government is done with that how much financial assistance do eligible farmers receive under uh, receive annually under the pm kisan scheme so that's a very popular question very important question 6000 rupees per annum is received by farmers very important three installments of 2000 rupee each which country did uk uh, overtook to become india's fourth largest export market so it's uh, they overtook china okay so students that's all for today that was a pretty short session i hope you understood that so you can join the ibps rrb skill 2 and skill 3 course on bankexamstudy.com where we are providing video classes notes quizzes test series live sessions and the interview preparation guidance link to join the course is available in the description you should check the description uh, the course link is there or you can also uh, give us a call or send us a whatsapp message on 9067201000 i hope you like the today's session uh, list of our successful students in the past all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and i'm really really happy for them you'll be one of them in the future for sure if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and i'm going to answer your doubts and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye